because you mentioned Steve Austin. Dave Meltzer came out, I think, yesterday and said that through a mutual friend, Steve Austin is in incredible shape. And we still don't know, as we're recording this, if it's going to be a segment with Kevin Owens or if he's coming in for a match. What do you know about Steve Austin at the moment? Do you think he's going to do a full wrestling match? You know, I will guarantee you Steve is coming in looking amazing. He's stone cold Steve Austin. I would have bet up till recently, no way he would wrestle. But <laughs> <laughs> one thing you learn in this business, never say never. Yeah, who knows? Maybe bringing Mr. Stone Cold is going to come out. I don't think if it's a match, I don't expect it to be long because, you know, bringing he ain't a kid anymore. He ain't been in the ring that long uh, in, in a long time. But who knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe there is. Uh, I would love it as long as he didn't get, you know, <laughs> he's taken care of it. I'm sure everything would be to make sure. But yeah, I, I would love to see it because that would just blow the roof off. Mm. I wouldn't want to follow that. You know, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to follow that. Um, but you know, because Steve is really, you know, to me, if you look at the the greatest talents of all time, Steve Austin is right there with, you know, the, if Steve has a longer run than Hogan. Even half more. If he if he had another couple of years, he you know Hogan. You got to say is the greatest of all time as far as the personality. Ric Flair to me is the greatest of all time is the worker because they both have like thirty years in. Steve Austin has like maybe fifteen. Let's see, nineties. Yeah, maybe maybe not even fourteen. And in the last six years of his career he was a freaking he was the icon mm. you know and if he could have kept that going if he didn't get dropped on his head steve would still be wrestling today no matter what yeah you know he would be in and out of there like piper um he's just to me he's one of the greatest characters and greatest the greatest interviewer you know when he's out there you know rick flair is of course is way up there on that level too as far as just stone cold interviewer uh, but Stone Cold Steve Austin, I, I, I think, is the best interviewer ever. You know, when him and Rock were together, that was magic shit, you know? I think nobody feels the audience can sense what the audience want from an interview and, and turn it on a dime, as you'd say, to adjust to an audience better than Steve Austin ever. I think that's at least fair to say to him. No, no, no question. So the segment's going to be great. Now... If and everybody's looking forward to it, and Meltzer releasing that he's in great shape. Um, like again, this is Stone Cold Steve Austin, so this is WrestleMania. So, can Steve go out there and do it? You know, I, I would have thought it would never happen, but at this point, not so sure, you know, because he could go out there and just, you know, he loves surprising the world and he, he, he he's great at it. <laughs> I, I am one of his biggest fans, you know?